An undergraduate medical school will make dissection of human bodies a mandatory module in its curriculum. The Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine in Nanyang Technological University will become the first in Singapore to do so. And this will start from the academic year of 2026 to give its third year medical students hands-on experience and expand their knowledge in anatomy. And more than 180 third-year medical students will be the first batch to take on this module on cadaveric dissection. After two years of preclinical studies, the surgical simulations will be conducted before students are posted to their surgical postings. Currently, anatomy is taught through tech-enhanced teaching methods, which include plastinated human specimens and 3D virtual dissections and medical imaging. We thought, let's push beyond what is the international uh, standard of teaching anatomy. Currently, it is just confined to the preclinical years. So after, after that, there is no formal integration of the anatomy to the clinical years. So in LKC Medicine, we thought that is one of the area. Strategically, we kind of like, uh, we, we, we expanded the anatomy curriculum into the clinical years through the cadaveric dissection. That is where to apply what they have learned in preclinical years into the, in the real world. The dissection lessons are led by LKC medicine anatomists and faculty, but held at the Surgical Science Training Centre in Tan Tok Seng Hospital. The hospital says the corpses are imported from the US and assures that they are preserved ethically and managed with respect. For example, students will always begin with a pledge prior to the start of the lesson to respect the dignity and integrity of the human remains they are about to learn from. Exposing the students uh, in the younger days to the clinical practice is very, very important because we know theory and, and practice are completely different. You might have knowledge, but that knowledge is Im immaterial if you cannot connect the dots of the knowledge because every doctor-patient interaction is like a fingerprint, it's a very different interaction. So this kind of workshops actually does enrich that kind of experience. 